All right, welcome back today. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about scientific notation. All right, uh, we have about four vocabulary words that you're going to hear me speak of quite often. You're going to hear me use the vocabulary word scientific notation. Okay, you're going to hear me use the word standard notation. You're going to hear me use the word product. And you're going to hear me use the word power. All right. So just what you need to remember is standard notation is just simply numbers written the way that we're used to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually define what is scientific notation for you. Scientific notation is the product, product meaning multiplication, of a factor and a power of 10. Remember, a power of 10 just means it's going to be 10 with an exponent, okay? So this is like, what I mean by this right here is I mean like 10 to the third power, okay? So scientific notation is the product of a factor and the power of 10. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like this. It looks like 3.8 times 10 to, the, oops, 10 to the third power. Ignore that decimal, all right? It also might look like this, 7.04 times... 10 to the ninth power. We can even have negative powers or negative exponents. So like 2.41 times 10 to the negative fifth power. But notice in every single occurrence, we have a power of 10 here. Okay, So we're always multiplying by a power of 10. We're taking that factor and we're multiplying it by that power of 10. Okay, So let's go ahead and look at our first example. What we're going to do is on these examples is we're going to take, we're going to go take scientific notation. So in your notes, you might want to make sure you write this somewhere so that way you know it. Scientific notation, we're going to take it and we're going to change it into standard notation. All right. So the first one I have here is I have, oh, lost my paper. Okay. I have 5.34 times 10 to the fourth power, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at where the decimal is in my factor. So right now I notice that the decimal is between the five and the three. The next thing I'm gonna look at is my power of 10 with that, ex that exponent, okay? That power of 10 exponent has a four right now and it's a positive four. And positive will cause me to do different things than negative. If it's positive, if positive, we're going to move decimal to the right. If it's negative, we're going to actually move it to the left, and I'll show you one here shortly. So I have 5.34. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write that over here again, 5.34, not with the power of 10 now, because now this is where I have to do my work. All right, it tells me a power of 10. It tells me I have a power, an exponent of 4. So what I do is I go over here to the decimal, and because it's a positive 4, I'm going to move it 4 spots to the right. 1, 2, but you notice I encounter a problem here. There's only two numbers. So what I have to do is I have to insert some zeros so that I can move it a third time. I have to insert another zero to insert to be able to move it a fourth time. So now my decimal is right behind that zero. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this number with the decimal back here behind the zero. So I would rewrite this as 53,000. 400. The decimal's right there, but because there's no digits behind there, I'm just going to write this as 53,400. I don't need that decimal there, okay? Because it's not needed because it's not holding any place values, all right? Not holding any digits. It's not, it doesn't have any digits that have any place values, all right? So 53,000 is 400 is the way I would write that in standard notation. So let me show you another one. So example number two, I have eight. 0 0.0125 times 10 to the third power, okay? So I'm going to, again, rewrite this number, 8, this factor, 8.0125. I'm going to look at what the exponent is telling me to do. It's a positive 3, so therefore it's telling me to move to the right. So I'm going to take my decimal. I'm going to move 1, 2, 3 spots to the right. And so now my decimal ends up right up in here, OK? 
okay? So I'm going to rewrite this number as 8, 0, 1, 2, decimal, then 5. And so there's my answer in standard notation. Notice how I let I move that decimal from the, between the 8 and the 0 to between now the 2 and the 5. And the reason I did that is because of that power of 10. All right. Let's show you with a couple negatives. All right. 3.27 times 10 to the negative 3. If we have a negative integer, and I'm going to write this down. If we have a negative, move the decimal left. So we're going to do the opposite because we know that negative is the opposite of positive. All right. So, but again, I'm going to rewrite that number 3.27. But now, instead of moving to the right, where I did it with the positive exponents, I'm going to move to the left with the negative. Notice, I move once to the left, and all of a sudden I run out of digits. So, just like up here with the positives, I'm going to have to insert some zeros. So, I put a zero in there so I can move to the second time. I'm going to add, insert another zero so I can move a third time. And so now my decimal is out in front. All right. So when I rewrite this, I'm going to put my decimal first, and then I'm going to insert 0, 0, 3, 2, 7, all right? You can also, sometimes you might see this with another 0 right here just to hold the ones place value, all right? Sometimes you might see it excluded. You might see it without that and just the decimal like that, okay? Either way is okay by me, all right, when you're doing it. Number four, example number four, let's do 9.6 times 10 to the negative 1 power. Again, it's a negative power, so as a result, we're going to go ahead and move it to the left. So I'm going to rewrite the number 9.6. It's telling me to move that decimal one spot to the left. So I'm going to move it one spot to the left, and I'm going to place it right here. As a result, when I rewrite this number, I end up with decimal 96. So 0 0.96, or 96 hundredths. You might be asking yourself, why am I moving the decimals one place to the right with a power of 10? Because that's the way our number system works. All right, good luck with your practice problems.